Hey, we are at Photo Booth Expo 2020, checking some of the cool things here at the show. Atlanta Photo Booth, Steve is here, and he has got some new technology for us this year. Steve, let's go over and kind of take us around the booth and show us what we've got this year. Okay, John, this is our this is our redesigned uh, venue pad. Now, this is meant to be a iPad, an, an iPad or Surface Pro type model. Um, this one right here is a 12.9 Surface Pro and is running a uh, Curator Pix Booth software and you would simply touch the screen to start. You would choose your rent thing. And then it's gonna take you three, two, one. And then it's gonna go ahead and you text your stuff in and you would send it to yourself. The head does remove. The top does run on batteries, so your lights will run seven, eight hours on those batteries. Um, the newly designed pedestal has USB pass-throughs if you're going to be using printing or anything like that. Uh, you also have power ports on top so you can plug in a power adapter or whatever else. The base also has the USB pass-throughs as well as additional power ports so you can slave a printer or something like that off of the unit. So that's the venue pad from Atlanta Photo Booth. All right, let's go check out the next one. This right here is the legendary Venue Pro. This has been around for a very long time. And uh, it's a DSLR-based unit, runs a Surface Pro. This is the newly LED blingified version. So you, you have the power and USB pass-throughs built into the pedestal itself. So you no longer have to drop cables through it. Comes apart into three pieces. The head is adjustable. The power and everything goes right into the top and comes out the bottom so you can run your printer right next to it and run one single extension cord to run the entire unit. And that is the Venue Pro. What do we, got? What do we have next? Okay. Well, with the popularity of all the roamers and stuff, we've always had a, a roaming uh, iPad booth, but people asked if we could make one that was even lighter. So while our larger ones have the batteries built in and are slightly heavier, the smaller one here uses an external battery pack and it's called the Razor Roamer because it is less than one inch thick. It does have a light control system so you can turn it white and take people's pictures and then put it back to rainbow and it's very very light. It's under three pounds and with the iPad and battery and everything and it's easy for one person to hold with one hand and very easy to move around. Steve, how long would a device like that run off one battery for an event? This battery right here runs for about 11 hours. This thing is running, uh, is running both the lighting and the iPad if you want it to. So it runs for quite a long time. It's a large battery pack. You can use a smaller one if you want to have a more compact battery, but I like the big one because you're just never going to run out of power. Nice. Very nice. So that's one, but you have two here. Yes, the one next to it. We had a lot of people talk to us about selfie mirrors, but I've never really been a, a huge fan of ones that did not have adequate lighting and whatnot. Right. So what I did is I kind of, kind of, you know, remixed them here, and I made this one, which is kind of a combination of a roamer and a selfie mirror. So you do have lighting. It can be used in a darker room, and you don't have to worry about horrible pictures, and you can flip back and forth between colored and whatnot as well. This does have a 10,000 milliamp battery built into it, and this thing will run for, ugh, I, I haven't even been able to kill it yet, so it's been in excess of 12 hours now that this has been running with the lights on and everything. Um, we customize the back with your company information or whatever you'd like on there, so we can go ahead and laser it for you to uh, match your branding or, or your photo booth's company. And um, this is running an, an iPad mini, and we made this one run an iPad mini to keep both the weight and the size down. Right. You know, people say, oh, can you fit a full-size iPad in this? Well, that's kind of what the Roamer's for. This was meant to be a smaller unit that would be self-contained. Excellent, excellent. Let's go to one of the more popular eye-catching ones. <laughs> this here is our Rover. This is the robotic booth we came out with a couple of years ago, and it has been a super favorite. Um, it is remote control. It can be driven around and the head can be adjusted and everything like that. Yeah. 
and it's a very safe unit. It, it is barely even ankle height, so you can run at full speed into somebody and it won't even hurt them. So for all the questions about can it tip over, can it hurt somebody, no it cannot. Um, they're in use at, at major theme parks and things like that right now and nobody has any, any, any issues with them whatsoever. They will run for approximately six or seven hours on a battery charge, and the head is removable should you want to take it off and roam with it. However, it moves, so that's really not something that most people would, would do. And there you go, removes quickly. Excellent. So now we get to look at one of the coolest ones that you've added to this year with right in the middle of the booth. Let's talk a little bit about this 360 experience. Okay, um, we had been looking to make a 360 for quite some time and uh, it's no secret there was another company out there doing them and we had to make sure that we steered clear of any controversy or anything in, in respecting their innovation so we had to kind of redesign and find our own way to do it. And this is the Venue 360. We went and welded it ourselves and built all the components and everything and this is a 40 inch platform, 8 inches tall, approximately 50 inches or uh, 50 pounds. It has a digital adjustable speed control underneath so whereas most of the other ones you cannot actually dial in a certain RPM, this one has a nice little readout in the front and it will let you dial in the exact speed. So for example if you tell your staff we want to run this at 20, uh, they can just dial it in at 20 and they'll have the perfect uh, the perfect speed. The arm goes from 24 inches to 60 inches. It will support a DSLR, an iPad, a GoPro, or pretty much any other camera you'd like to use under four pounds. The entire unit though, John, runs on batteries. Really? And yes, we're using 20 volt batteries and we give you two of them. However, one battery will run constant motion for 14 hours. That was our test. 14 hours until it died. Wow. So that is far in excess of any event you would ever do seeing as you only run the the 360 unit for five six seconds at a clip. Sure. So that buys you a tremendous amount of time. Um, because I wanted it to be mobile I also designed a little lighting system that can slave off of the unit itself. Now this is a pre-production. The bases are going to be far prettier than this but I wanted a kind of a proof of concept thing. Yep. The lights are what I came up with. I like them because they're very slim and they're very light. They are 12 volts and they run off a battery pack and it does run off a separate battery pack but this allows you to place it in the middle of a room or place it somewhere where you do not have power. Outside at a wedding reception you can put it out in the you know in the flower garden or wherever and get beautiful videos without being tied to the wall. Now Steve once a person shoots a little video clip these are some awesome clips can this be something they send to their phone or how does that work? Yes, um, our, so our unit is software agnostic so you can pretty much use any any device or uh, software you'd like. We're using one right here which actually kind of mixes and retimes and slices and cuts the stuff into a little music video. Right. Once it's done it will send it to a sender program which allows you to go ahead and email it. Um, these are generally not textable because of the size. The, right. the files are usually around 20 megabytes or so. So you do need to email them. But yes, it'll send it right to them and then you can attach your information and whatnot. You can also add a lead in or a lead out video. So you could have your company stuff or, or some information about the event or an event logo or whatever you'd like and then end it with you know your little advertisement. And it makes quite a little takeaway. Excellent. So Steve, if a person wants to get into the Venue 360 and they're needing help with this, this is something that you can help them with to get them up and running and to be successful with their Venue 360. Yes. Um, as far as the hardware is concerned, I can make you, uh, make you one and show you exactly how to run it. The software, like I said, is going to be your, your choice. It could be a, uh, as much as $1,500 for the software or as much as $60 for the software. It just depends on how complicated of an experience you want for the customer. So I highly suggest you check out several different software packages and find the one that works for you and then we'll get you up and running. That sounds great. Steve, if people want to find out more information about any of the products from Atlantic, Atlanta Photo Booth, where do they go? They would go to Atlanta Photo Booth Singular.com. So that is Atlanta Photo Booth com. That sounds great, Steve. Thanks for your time today at Photo Booth Expo 2020. Thank you, John.